This is not the zoo that we that we've been working on in the past YouTube videos. Instead, it is time for a new me, a new fu our new future in creativity of Paradise Zoo. As you can already see, I've been pretty busy making pretty much every single thing as perfect as it can be, so far at least. I have to admit, I've been two days, I want to say like two days I've been in the zoo, I've already done this much stuff. So, just keep that in mind, that this is not completed yet, I just want to show you guys what I have. And we're gonna make more stuff. So, anyway, we have the exit, of course, is that way. We have the gray seal and the hippopotamus, that way. I'm gonna show you that again. The pea fowl over there, and then over oh, here it says food and drinks, that way. If you play info shot, and then you would make a, it would make a left turn. So, we're gonna start off here. Now, uh, this fountain that I Made completely by myself. I put a little. Well, the fountain part was, was like a prefab. I didn't download it or anything. But here, we have the hippopotamus. Thought that would look kind of cool. We got the lion. We got the. Oh my god, what is this? The red panda. We got a jaguar. And then three wolves. A baby chasing a buffalo, which is absolutely. Like garbage pig. <laughs> so anyway, if you look this way, we have our Indian. We have our in, we have our Indian pea fowls, but as you can also see it is mostly one way glass. That part isn't because I tried making it all one way glass, but then it was making the one way glass to block the view of the guests from the pea fowls instead of the opposite. So we have some glass and some one-way glass. We have actually a lot of babies. Was not expecting this. We have exactly how many we have in here? Uh, we have 17 pea fowls. And I just started off with four. Oh, what's going on here? I'm just lying down. So anyway, we have we used to have just two males, two females, but that's kind of changed a lot <laughs> from the last time I checked on them. But yeah, <laughs> uh, we got a habitat disease risk for the hippos. That's perfect. Just what you like to see on YouTube: disease risks. So. Okay, that's annoying. So anyway, if you look this way, we have the gray seal that finally found out the way to make it so the water can be, or under the water can be seen by the people, but still have animals there. And it was a struggle. It took me seven tries to be able to do this, even though I have no idea what the hell that is. But it took me seven tries. To get it so then we can make it so that they can see the the otter or not the otters the seals and the water with them playing in it seven dries paid off as you can see I was also trying to make this look like as like I kind of put it like like it's like sort of like a like a newest kind of zoo, like like a current gen zoo, not like the old fashioned zoos, like we just put a fruit bowl in the middle like it used to be. 
put up in here, you know? We put something a little different. We put the hippos, which I'm actually going to, oh wait, the keepers right in there. Putting in some food for them. Thank God for keepers. Or else my guys wouldn't be able to eat. But anyway, we have like, oh my God. <laughs> just reset that. Oh my god, they just pushed through that. But anyway, we in here we have. Oh god, what is happening with my game? <laughs> I only have, of course, hippos, and we're just gonna call Keeper to clean this bus up. But he's not done so already. No clue where it went. We have eight hippos. It's a good view, not good view, and okay. So I have no idea what to think. And I'm going to do these clean this first. So I'm just going to do these two quick. So I can just move on with our exhibits. I already called the key for that, so we're going to now get rid of the notifications because they're going to clean it now. I didn't get a chance. So anyway, oh my god, we're going too fast. No, 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 fast. <laughs> but anyway, if you look this way, at the hordes of people, we're going to go the easier way from here. And in here, we have some war chogs. We have four war chogs in here. We have whatever this thing is. It's the... Oh, you can throw food? Uh, it's the animal talk point. And of course, this. They're so far of least concern, even though I have no idea how many are left. And it seems like these guys really like their habitat. They're having a lot of fun in it. <laughs> so, anyway, if you follow me this way, I still have, I think, a couple more things to show you. And then. Oh, wait, I forgot about this. I realized after, or just today, that I don't have any music in my, any of my zoos. So, I finally put in some music speakers in this zoo. I have no idea why I didn't, like, add music. I must have forgot. I thought I played, like, I thought I played, like, the plant zoo music, but it didn't. Which was really annoying. So after that, I put those things in. So now in here we have the different like shops, I guess you could say. We got cosmic cow milkshakes, chef beef burgers, loony balloons, just a memento, and hats fantastic. And as you all can see, it is it was recrafted and possibly by my new me or by the new me of the construction table thank god the construction table or else i would never be able to do any of this and also shout out to find him. shout out to soccer games thank you so much for that playlist of the sandbox or episode one i should say because that really helped me a lot it was it really helped me get like used to the controls and stuff, so thank you so much. So in over here we have but it's okay. So in here we just have a couple of like places where you can eat lunch or stuff and stuff like that. But this way. Oh by the way guys it's staff only, but I'm a staff because I work here. I built the zoo and Thank, this is the part where I'm thanking soccer games for. And some of it I did on my own. I add like these garbage cans and these benches and stuff. But like I used like the material I guess you could say that he used. Except for this kind of glass. I really liked this build. It was like, even though it took me so long to do. It was very much enjoyable. I learned so much from this. I think we have pretty much every single staff building possible. Got people enjoying the enjoying the view of the park. And this thing else I added, which was a little something, not that big, 
but add in this nature scene that comes as a free prefab in the game. But I thought, hmm, I thought this would be pretty cool. <laughs> they have some deer in here. Got some nice trees in the background that I added. And then I was actually showing my mom this part. And the first thing that she noticed when I was walking through here was the mountains. And I actually didn't even notice those until now. So that's pretty much my zoo so far. But next, we are going to be adding some elephants, as you can already tell. And then I added this again. I just like like spicing it up a little. So here is going to be the elephants exhibit. Where it's going to be like a walkthrough. And a little turn, and then go back to other parts of the zoo. And then I'm going to connect that to all different parts of the zoo, and then build a straight path to go to every place else. But anyway, this is going to be the elephant habitat. If I didn't already name it yet. Oh no, I did not. Elephants. How do I spell elephant? Oh my god. Not really how. Oh my god, I feel like a complete idiot. Right now. <laughs> oh god. How did I spell it here? Did I spell it like that? I did, but that looks so right. How did that look so wrong? There we go. Now it looks better. I must have spelled it wrong. Oh, have a chat. So we have elephants in here. We're going to have elephants in here. And at first I was going to put like crocodiles in here. You know what? I'm actually thinking of doing that. So for the bears. We're going to put crocodiles and elephants. But the thing about this exhibit is that we're going to actually no, no, no. We can put them like this in another exhibit. So what I was thinking about doing here was like, if I, so, oh yeah, you get to see elephants here. So then you walk along this path, of, go to all the trees, and like, hmm. like, like you can actually like get a beautiful side of nature. And by the way, this part I created except for this, this spinning thing. I, I made, I got off like something, but I added this to make it look like. To make it look like it was splashing out some water, I guess you could say. And I use this. I don't know what it's called. It's under there somewhere. But anyway, I added like one of the effects. I think it was water rapids. I'm not sure. But I added that under there so it looked like it's like moving the water and it was like making some waves. I thought that was pretty cool, so I added it to the other side. Of course, not symmetrical, so let me do that right now. Yeah, so I can get a nice view of it going in and going out. Yeah, symmetrical, I guess you could say. So now if you're going this way, it's looking at like that. Except, I can't even explain it, but do you guys, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Probably not. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we got, so we're going to put elephants in here right now. And see how long it takes to get there. I'm going to put African and Indian, I think. Yeah, I'm going to put African elephants and Indian elephants because I have already two boards. Ooh, barely got that one. Then I'm going to go down to the eyes. Okay, we're going to get three. No, we're not. We're getting four. This is my trick. I just sort of like refresh it and then I do 
one comes. So four African, four Indian. And of course, if you know your math equals fifth four <laughs> equals eight. So we know it. So they got that one little pool there. Let's make some trees. Because this isn't going to be the old no tree Zach exhibit. We're going to put some nice rocks. Let's start with some rocks. Why not? Or this. Let's start with this. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, that looks sick. To put it like that. Oh, that looks awesome! That looks awesome, dude! And then maybe we'll- Ooh, we can make this archway. I'm having too much fun with this, am I? <laughs> uh, we'll put an archway there, and then maybe we'll put, like, this little rock, like, in the habitat somewhere. Let's get some bamboo trees. <laughs> we can actually have it leaning against the fence like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Let's do one on that side, one on the other. So I'm not symmetrical because then it would interfere with the nice water. Let's get some beach saplings. And absolutely random waters. Uh, aqua plants. Ooh, so cool. This reminds me of, of like this reminds me of like oh, what's it called? South Carolina. Like when you just make just old palm trees. Actually, if you guys are wondering, it was actually a really fun time there. The last or two summer though before this pandemic, that was perfect. Let me also put some of these plants over here. There we go. Now we got a little beech tree back here. There we go. And now let's give it some or some food and water. So African elephant and Indian elephant, wherever the hell they are. Here they are. Uh, Indian elephant. Gonna give them large. One food bowl on each side. And then a um, um, mud bath. <laughs> okay, we'll get some mud. Why not? We'll put it near the soil. And then we'll get a rubbing pillar for some strange reason. We have this too. Let's put this over there too. So it looks like the water's increasing too. And guys, be honest with me. I'm trying my best to be like as realistic zoo as possible. You think this is starting to look really awesome or no? So I'll honestly be fine with no. I could just like. Like put other stuff, but I'm not like changing it completely. I'm just gonna tell you guys that much. I was gonna like maybe add some little tweaks, maybe like remove some little things. But I'm not like going like deleting everything. Just telling you that. Underpriced? Oh, be my guest. This is where I was stunning. 15, 14, 36, and 28. I still have no concert 
activation rating for some reason. So we'll put Indian outfits for this one on this side. Indian elephants. Can throw food. Okay. Sorry. And then African elephants. That then we'll just do it for African elephants. What the hell is going on? Hey, let's go back to Animal Talk, boy. Guys, what do you think of it? You down in the comments below what you think of my zoo so far. And you can tell me after you watch the video completely. So you can see what other tweaks and stuff I may add before making your opinion. But I, this is like my favorite part. Like you have two waterfall things going in and adding water to that. I feel like that's so cool. I have a ton more people coming up here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many people. We'll get that for African elephants. Indian. Oh no! Indian elephant, yes. Here we go. So now the African and Indian elephant enclosure done. Now I'm gonna branch this thing, this part back. I have the angle snap on. Just gonna make it turn that way, that way. There we go. And I'll we'll make that one go out farther. And I'll also bring this one out farther that way. I was expecting offspring. When? April of year 15. That's so long from now. Are you serious? That was pretty much pointless. But I feel like this is the best part. Like, you can, like, walk inside the habitat. What do people think? Oh, yay. They look happy. Just what I like to see. Oh, wait. Fruit Molly. And an elephant, three. And maintenance. Oh, that 
will come every three months. There we go. What is this here? Uh, food bowl can or food that will watch cannot be reached. Oh my god, it is on top. Are you serious? Are you serious, game? Oh no, it's not a slow. No! Call the vet. Misassigned species. What? Okay, if I put it in a random. I don't care anymore. I'm done. But it's definitely we have an injury that's going on in the African elephant. So the African elephant closure so far looks pretty done. So I feel like we have a bunch of cool things in the park right now. I can't I can't specifically name my favorite because I have a lot of favorites right now. But I feel like this is like I feel I have such big feelings for this park so far. I feel like this is gonna be the best one I'm ever gonna make so far. And my age of. Oh. So. Here we go. And let's just call the cube because the hippos might get hungry soon. Yep, April, year 15, that's great. That's so long from now, why would you tell me that now? Anyway, there has to be a way, there has to be a way to make marketing just one star so I know it's possible to make marketing a star, so. Like, ow, how, 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 I don't care. People resting. Hey, could we change capacity? Only a uh, social, social club. Oh, I can't change the capacity. That's so annoying. Six or seven, maybe. So we go to have that because there's at least one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six species so far. And the gray seals that are going to have a low cleanness. So we're going to just call it keep her straight away. And I'm saying if we go to food, okay, everything is grade three. Quarantine exhibits, we have none. Let's get some exhibits in. I feel like I want to make it like all, I guess you could say all the beat. So I'm gonna put two or three exhibits out here and put them like in a little box and put a little title on it. You guys get what I'm saying? Wait, because here comes the fun part. 
So we're gonna put these things, and then we're gonna put them inside like a little room. And we're gonna make it so then people can walk through. Put like four of these down so far. We'll start with four creatures and make our way up from there. Now if we go to paths, I'm going to turn, oh wait, angles have to already turned off. Wait, actually, why don't we build the room first before we put, like, the path. Well, hang on tight while I make, while I do God's work. I'm gonna use this. Also, guys, I think pretty soon I might like ask my sister to learn how to edit videos because I I saw the gaming beepers a lot of of them editing is it I the, I know the title of this video is more. If you guys know the title of that of that video, let me know. But like, I saw that for a little bit, and it looked so difficult. It took him to like two or three hours to do that, which was crazy. Oh no! Oh, I messed up. So I'll delete that after. Open and put a little door. Like right in the middle. Okay, here. And then a door. And now we're going to make it nice and tall. So now we can make like, we can make it like closed in, I guess you could say. So that's gonna be the room. Now let's go like this. Raise it up. We'll do like three. If I go low here, Yeah, I feel like this would be tall enough to just... Just raise this last bit up, and then...
You know, I'm gonna just leave that now. Trust me when I tell you this is gonna actually work out in a favor of us. It's gonna work out in favor for us. Now I need the floors, floors and floors, and then roof flat. The reason why I'm also doing this is because I don't want I don't want to like look up to people and like say like that I'm not good at building stuff. Because after I'm done building this zoo, nobody's gonna call me Mr. Frugal in the middle. Oh, I don't call you. <laughs> Nobody calls me that. By the way, guys. Almost done, guys. Don't, don't worry. Yeah. And now let's add the lettering. Let's add 
I know where that is. Art shapes, lettering. Oh, wait, get, get rid of this thing. Now I need to look for the 3D. Here it is. So I need rectangle. Or no, not rectangle. Yeah, you know what? We'll go up reptile exhibit. Of course, if I find R. Here it is. straight see Reptile. Reptile dome. Hmm. Actually, I need a dot. We're gonna put snakes, so we're gonna put what's in here. Guys. Snakes and turtles.
to here, and we'll be right back. And we're also going to actually put, like, one more. So let's put two more. One here. Where's that light coming from? Oh, that. Okay. So we actually have some little lights in here. I want to make it like look like a little like creepy looking, but not like too scary that like nobody will want to come in here. Uh, floor lights. Let's, yeah, let's put on some floor lights. I'm also gonna make it night. Yeah, that's too dark. More of light than that. And this will be right on top of there. Hmm. Now, just in case it gets dark. I don't have that. Let me also add all these to work zones.
So what should we put in here? And I'll get to the disease risk in a second. A gold lift frog. Yeah. I never said we didn't have frogs in here. So let's put in a frog. And this is what I was talking about from before. You know, let's get to toes and they can make some babies. And let's put the turtle. At least that's what it looks like. Get the golden poisoning. We could really put one of those guys in. Oh no, we put that one in. Still get these. Okay, we have one more left to fill, guys. What should we put in here? Oh, this red eye tree frog. There we go. And one more thing left. Perfect. Well, I get rid of this water and add clean water. I'll be right down. Yes, I say I'll be right down. <laughs> 